everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a change of pace for y'all. We're gonna throw a curveball, travel a little bit up north, actually a lot of bit up north. We're going in excess of two hours to fish a private lake with one of the viewers of the channel and uh, I think we're gonna be able to get on some nice, but actually I know. I've already came back and I forgot to do an intro, so I'm doing it right now, but I hope you're gonna enjoy this one. So uh, let's just roll the tape without spoiling any surprise. The long anticipated wait is over. We have finally made this happen. Right up ahead is Jeff. He's the kind gentleman that has invited myself and Christian out on a just a, a beautiful morning to fish for some ditch pickles. But I don't know if you're gonna call these ditch pickles. So I'm like I've seen what he caught and pulled out of here right before we came out. Jeff sent me a text saying, Hey, I just caught this and I wear size 10 shoe, and I was like, oh my lord after getting a good look at that. So he's uh, kind of given us the lay of the land and it's a nice, it's a really nice sized, uh, oversized pond is what I'm gonna call it, but uh, you can also consider it a small lake and uh, it just looks really good. And with zero wind, I think we're gonna enjoy ourselves. We're gonna start with some top water, y'all. I don't know if I have enough backbone on this rod, but we will be stopping at Old 18 to try to remedy the, uh, the whole bass market. So let's get closer to the bank and then we'll make that first cast. Let's see. See if we can stand up. I don't know if we have good visibility for y'all right now, but I can definitely see it. These GoPros, though, they just don't do well. <laughs> I didn't set the hook. I didn't feel them. Oh my gosh, that's a fine time to actually, I set the hook and it wrapped around my, oh, I need to, I almost need to stand up. Got him. Oh, that's a nice little chunk. Oh, he spit it on me. Oh my gosh, that was a nice healthy two and a half, maybe three. Oh my gosh, those ones hurt, y'all. They hurt trying to get that first one in the boat. Oh man, I thought I had them hooked. We need some beefier rods. This light action one is just, it doesn't sport the backbone needed because we're dealing with some very thick hydrilla. Oh, we got him, y'all. He just came up and crushed it. I think I'm in the grass. I still feel him, though. I'm pulling him through that grass. Yep, he's on it. We got a 10-pound bass. Eight pounds of his grass. Look at this little chunk. <laughs> oh, we got the first one in the boat. Come here. I'm going to need you to chill out, little Billy. There we go. Look at that. Look at this healthy little chunk right there. That is a pound and a half of wholesome goodness. You're lucky we ain't got no hot dog buns. Yeah. Always feels great to get the first one in the boat, y'all. I'm going to throw a shout out to my boy, Weston. He uh, was the one who gave us these right here whenever we were visiting him in Dallas when we went to go purchase Christian's kayak. 
and uh, these creature baits, man, they get it done. Definitely get it done. Texas rigged right there. Creature bait, weightless. I got a cast out into the open to, it's like we got a couple of coils that are semi-loose. There we go. Uh-oh. Gotcha. I saw him come and take it. Get over here, honey. She's digging. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That right there is a solid three pounds for sure, y'all. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to show you off, sweetheart. That. That right there. Well, two and three quarters, let's call it. Perfect hook set, y'all. That is just gorgeous. My gosh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. Let's try to get this off of you without incident. Boy, oh boy, I saw that. My heart started pounding before she even hit. And the release. We'll see you later, sweet pea. And there she goes, off into the depths of that tannic water. We need another creature bait. Man, these creature baits, I've never been one to use them. But after fishing with Weston, I'm like, I'm all about it now. I can't tell if he's got it or... Yep, he does got it. I saw my line moving a little bit. Nope, he's down there. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, we got this big old mat of grass. <clears throat> Come here, sweetheart. There we go. Oh my goodness gracious, y'all. Another solid chunk. That away. Let's get this fella out. Okay. Finally got it out. Kept that water, or kept the guy in the water that whole time. He looks to be doing okay. He's probably cussing me right now, but... Let's get a good look at him. I mean, he's been down there breathing. That is another gorgeous, healthy chunk of a bass right there, y'all. Man, these guys are super healthy, too. Wow. That is a good one, nonetheless. You ready, buddy? Ooh, <laughs> he bit me when he took off. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Here goes the aftermath of what we're dealing with. The Kraken Crawl is uh, actually in decent shape, but the end of it is just completely wore out. So we're gonna, that's the last of what we got for those Guggen style baits, which they've been putting the punishing on these bass so far. We've gotten more hits than we could land, but nonetheless been getting them hits let's see if we got any more creature baits inside here a little of something that most people don't know is that um i started out bass fishing and i did it a lot um it's just because i'm so close to the salt that that's what y'all see me do and I rarely ever have an opportunity to come do this, but when he threw out the invite, I'm just like, heck yeah, we're there. Right here, another crawl. Seems to be the hot color. He said like black with blue. And uh, he wasn't lying. That's what's been getting the bite. They've been munching on this color right here. <laughs> Thank you.
on the companies is that like, hey, oh, he's got it. Um, it just shows me that they, uh, they are clicking on those links Okay. <laughs> There's a, a lot of people out there that is like sacrilege. It's like taboo for bass. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. There we go, y'all. So before y'all start hitting up the comment section, uh, Jeff was mentioning that they need to cull a lot of those types right there so that the bass won't be competing too much for the darn food. All that forage that's in here, uh, they're having a, a hard go at trying to outpace the others. And in order to make some true trophies, they need to, to do that right there. So it's not that he's just like, hey, uh, trying to do a meat haul or anything like that. I mean, this is his personal lake. All right. It's a three-hour update, y'all. What a great day it's been. I mean, there is tons of bass to be caught. We've lost more than we've actually landed, and that's between all three of us that's out here. We got the overcast skies, the, oh wow, that was a big old blow up inside there. The foul weather on the coast not reaching us up here, so that's a great thing. We actually can see the sun today behind them clouds, and uh, well, you just, you couldn't ask for a better day. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the quick change of pace with the foul weather that we've been having. I had to do it. We had to get out there and do some fishing. And uh, it turns out that a little bit further up north, the winds are low, the rain is gone, the sun was back out, and uh, we had a blast going out there. So I do hope you enjoyed it. If I can, I want to do at least one, maybe two at the most, bass fishing videos. It's always been a pastime of mine and to show you all that I'm serious about it and I mean business. While we were up north, we picked up three brand new rods from Old 18 and uh, we've got some pretty serious firepower. Two medium heavy suppressors and also a medium action spinning reel, the hollow point. So if you're curious or interested in those rods, they will be linked in my video description down below as well as all the other stuff that we're using. If you make a purchase by going to one of those websites, we do earn a small commission at some of them. So we definitely appreciate that. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.